Beachgoers might be thinking twice about dipping their toes in the water this week. That's after several shark sightings on Long Island over the past few weeks. On Monday, Governor Kathy Hochul directed state agencies to step up monitoring at Long Island beaches. Swimmers can expect to see more lifeguards, more boat patrols, even drones on the lookout for sharks. Over the past two weeks, several people have had encounters with sharks, but researchers from the New York Aquarium say these incidents are not attacks. Now, they know this because they study sharks that live off our shores, and we can find out all kinds of good information uh, from them to see why are we seeing more of these sharks. Hans Walters is a shark biologist and field scientist with the New York Aquarium in Coney Island. Hans, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Oh, you're welcome, Dana. Thanks for having us. You are welcome. I can imagine you are getting all kinds of questions. Very, very busy. Um, just let's be basic from the start. Why are we seeing so many more sharks? Well, I think we're seeing more sharks because we're looking for them. Realize with all the attention that they get, you've and the fact that there's just more people going to the beach this time of year, we're we're pretty shark focused, and I just think there's more eyes on the water. So you're saying they're there. This is where they live. Uh, this is where they eat. Can you talk about types of sharks and behaviors so we understand them better? Yes, um, there are up to 26 different kinds of sharks that visit our waters throughout the year. Um, this time of year, it is primarily sand tiger sharks, sand bar sharks, uh, dusky sharks, smooth dogfish, a tiny shark, the most common shark in our waters. Um, and we also have um, black tips and spinner sharks that have been coming up here as well. These are all fish eaters and they are uh, here uh, to eat Atlantic menhaden mm -hmm. that we call bunker. Bunker, all right. So those are tinier fish than the sharks. This is a meal. They travel, the bunker travel in uh, schools. Uh, is it a thick mix of fish that we might see out there? Yes, bunker travel, bunker or menhaden, depending on which word you want to use, okay. travel in huge schools. And they migrate up and down the coast, just like pretty much everything else that occurs in our waters. And um, they are the basis of the mid-Atlantic Ocean food chain. Whales eat them, dolphins eat them, various types of fishes, such as striped bass and bluefish eat them, and sharks also eat them. You all take point with attacks versus biting incidents. Can we talk about that? What, When the sharks see us, they're going for that food. They see legs or arms or whatever. What's going on? Well, the, I think the problem is they, they don't necessarily see us, or when they see us, it's too late to make a course correction. What um, the sharks in our area do is they swim through schools of fish with their mouth open. Mm -hmm. And the idea is to inflict maximum damage so you can circle back and pick these fish up as a meal, right? Right. And what's happening here is that the unsuspecting human basically just caught, gets caught in the crossfire, getting inadvertently between a shark and its meal. The sh I don't believe the sharks are mistaking us for fish or any part of our body. Mm -hmm. We just are plundering in the way of a, of a shark trying to get a meal. It's not a bite. It, it's it's literally they got grazed hmm. when 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 they got in the shark's way. How close to the shore? Uh, I, I don't have right off the tip of my tongue uh, information on where these incidents have happened. But it is can can you generalize that? Uh, how close uh, up? I think it it varies. Yes. I mean like. I've seen drone videos of Menhaden being, you know, very close to shore. You, you're not going to see the particular individual fish itself. You're going to see yes. a surface disruption. And, you know, on a calm day, you, the water's bubbling like this. Yes. And you'll see silver fishes jumping out of the water. You'll often see seabirds coming down. That's a sign that some, a prey animal is being driven up to the surface by a predator. Could be a whale, could be a dolphin. Could be bluefish, striped bass, could be sharks. They, and you can see that. 
Um, tell us about your work and has this changed? Uh, just what's going on this particular summer? Are you doing different things because of what's happening? For the last decade, we've been studying sand tiger sharks periodically, which is one of the species that are commonly found along our shores. We also have them as animal ambassadors here at the New York Aquarium. You can come here and see them. Um, they're fish eaters. They migrate up in the summer and they leave uh, in the cooler months. And we found that that the bays along the south shore of Long Island are really important nursery areas for juvenile or young of the year sand tiger sharks. They're born down south, they migrate up here late May, early June. They use the bays as an area to find food that is of the size they want to eat and also uh, stay away from larger sharks that might consider them food. Hans, thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate the information you've provided us, and um, I really respect what you do. It's so important what you do. So thank you very much, you and everybody at the New York Aquarium. Thank you. You're welcome, Dana, and thanks for helping us get the message out. Sharks are our neighbors, so we got to respect them and share the ocean with them. There you go. Could not say it better. Hans Walter, shark biologist, field researcher at the New York Aquarium. Thank you for being here.